It could be here. I'm looking at the, the health and it could be bad. Wagwan and welcome back to another episode of Fight Night Champions. I'm Frank and let's get ready for this one. We're coming up on the fifth fight for Lucas Dimitri. Last time out, if you have not watched it, quick KO, nothing new. Lucas Dimitri came out there, beat the man black and blue. Let's go out here and schedule our next fight. I'm feeling good, so we're gonna keep moving up. I was thinking about fighting Adam Tony last time, but it looks like we have a 31 ranked opponent, Garrick Jordan, 19 knockouts, 20 six victories and five losses an unconventional fighter we're gonna be finding him at the aragon ballroom for twelve thousand dollars i'm feeling good we have i think an 11 inch reach advantage so we plan to stay back use that one two like we usually do and we will be training in philadelphia once again i'll see everybody when it's time for the first week of sparring and here we are feeling good in philly once again mcdaniel this is a big ass middleweight looks like a heavyweight almost we could be in here with some bigger fighters i'm not gonna lie maybe not even some pro guys but some higher weight classes i mean i don't mind it we're gonna have a pretty tough test coming up here every fight is a tough challenge because we're still looking for the knockout so not every fighter might have some good offensive abilities but some guys might have some really good defensive ones and there it is three good punches to the body that's what i'm saying this big guy don't got much body uh muscles in the in the core as you can tell you got a bit of a loose shirt there gut hanging loose lucas dimitri though he makes sure to run at least 10 miles a day that's right 10 miles a day but when he's in training camp he prefers to go even harder here we are slugging it out oh and he gets rocked lucas dimitri but i'm oh a flashing right hook back to the face of mcdaniel and we're feeling good here I'll hold it here play steady and when he's in the first First week of sparring that's when it really stays for real you see the belts in the back lucas Dimitri wants to get all of them wrapped around his waist he's gonna have to fight the likes of roy jones jr lara maybe even sugar ray leonard he might have to face in some instances now it's gonna be tough for lucas Dimitri, but if he wins these types of fights he will go down in the history books as a true great now i have nothing but high hopes for him to be able to accomplish these goals and i think that we will be able to on this channel subscribe to stay in tune with the journey to the top because i plan on posting these type of videos on the daily Woo! there it is a first good week in the books of training it was sparring to be specific and here we are with athletic training so let's see what we can do we do have a 10k run this training camp week and going into this next one we're gonna have to rest early because we have a lion's gate promotion that's right a lion's gate promotion the week before the fight so here we are we're gonna do the promotion get some more exposure build up our popularity to be able to get those bigger fights i'm gonna jump over here do some quick upgrades i think i'm gonna upgrade let's see let's actually go for that right hook let's start to get it even closer to level 11 the critical stun and let's actually just go automatic combinations went up one and the straight to the head went up one as well both of those are level four i will see everybody in the fight against garrick Jordan. And here we are at the Aragon Ballroom in the Shy. I'm feeling good. Chicago got some great energy, some great vibes. And let's see how it goes. I'm feeling violent though. You know Chicago got violence. And that's why we are here tonight. Lucas Dimitri looking to go and get his fifth knockout in a row the youngster only 20 years young and he's about that time that he goes out here and gets another victory but garrick jordan 26 wins five losses and 19 victories excuse me 19 ko's 165 10 from ukraine the eastern european is definitely going to make this one difficult for us and we hope that we'll get about it here with the victory He's an unconventional fighter, I'm pretty sure, so we can expect a bunch of crazy punches. There it is. There's a good one-two. Stepping back. There it is. Ah, just missing it. Nice. We're staying pressed up. That's the main goal. One-two and staying pressed up. But Jordan is quick and he's good. So I got to stay prepared to be ready to slip anything. Good uppercut to the body. Looking for the right hook. That's the best punch we got. So let's actually switch to the orthodox stance when we get a chance. And a right hook crushes Jordan on the chin. There's a good left hook, right hand. Good block. There it is, right hand. Nope, there it is, another one. Beautiful. Good uppercut. And there it is, the double uppercut. Flashed him, and it could be a first round finish. Oh my days, he's done. He's done. Jordan going down to his hands and knees. A beautiful left hook started it out. And the right hand crushed him, going up top and then trying to finish it off to the body. Definitely, definitely not his day. He's wearing the Ukrainian blue and yellow kicks as well. A beautiful sight. And let's see if. Whoa, he comes right back with the straight. Lucas Dimitri allowed himself to get caught by one of those. Good uppercut, and there's a right hand as well. Good slipping. There we go. Keep moving. Keep moving, Luke. That straight punch of his is money. Gonna have to watch out. The double uppercut to the body, though, is money from Lucas Dimitri as well. Trying to piece the body up, and we are slowly but surely making good progress on that. 
Ooh, good slipping from Jordan. He could be a counter puncher a little bit in there. I'm gonna have to go Orthodox. That is the style that rocked him before. And he will be leaving himself open when he throws that straight punch. As we see right there, he throws a straight punch. We jump off to the left and hit him with that body hook. Ooh, there we go. Little four piece combination to the body and up top. And we're starting to work him now. Jordan can't see what's coming in, but he is landing some good punches on Lucas Dimitri. He's tired though. And there's Lucas Dimitri jumping off with great effort and great energy on his feet. I'm feeling good. I'm gonna go right back to the orthodox stance. Oh, wow. There it is. Right hand. Look for the body. Look for the body, Luke. Look for the body. Looking to cause a cut today. We have not had that yet in the career, but we are looking to cause it. And there's a beautiful uppercut. And let's see what we can do now. Oh, he's getting pieced up. Jordan could be done. And he looks like he's done. Oh, my days. Look at this combination. Left hook, right hook, uppercut. Nothing that he can do there. Let's see it again. Left hook, right hook, right to the uppercut, knocking Jordan's head straight back. And we're not sure if he'll get up tonight, but we hope he does because I would like to get a flash knockout. Three, four, five, and he's back on his feet. Good slipping, but I need to go back to the orthodox stance. Let's find out if we can do something with it now. There we go. Get up off me. Get up off me. He definitely did, and there's a good uppercut. Popping him with it. Left hand. He's not even blocking. He's had enough. Step in, ref. We're going to need somebody to step in for him. He's had a long night tonight. We're going down. We're going up. If it's there, we're hitting it. Back and forth, blood spewing now. Oh, it's looking bad for him. Just stay pressed up. Good slippage, uppercut. Stepping off to the side, there's a left hook and a right hand. There's one to the body, looking for another one to the body. Looking for the left hand now, it's starting to get in there. There it is. Left hand to the body might be money, but if he stays here and just lets the one, two come in, it will be a short, short night. But there's Lucas Dimitri getting rocked and now he's in a corner. Oh my days. It's not looking good for Lucas Dimitri and he's never been dropped. It could be here. I'm looking at the, at the health and it could be bad news for Lucas Dimitri and he's going down. Lucas Dimitri has gone down for the first time in his career. I cannot believe it. Will he get up here? Let's see. It's a quick get up though. Not even the three, a quick two count. And Lucas Dimitri is back on his feet. A good uppercut and a right hand to end the round off. And we're both feeling even. Steven in this round. We jump off to the orthodox, looking for the body shot now. Strictly body shots and one twos. Jab and body shots. There it is, good body hook. And another one, looking to stay pressed up. We're looking really good. Good uppercut to the body, stay pressed. We have a really good reach. We're gonna start using it now, come the third round here. Good uppercut, beautiful. Little two piece combination, then jab to the straight. There's the uppercut and the right hand. Get up off me. What? Dimitri hit with the straight punch again. Having to jump back to the southpaw position where he's more comfortable. Using the double jab, trying to move around. And there it is, beautiful. Step off, there's this right hook to the body. And a one, two, just needing to stay poised. And there it is, a beautiful, this could be the finish. It looks like it will be. To the body and one to the uppercut, another one. Come on, finish him. Get him out of here, Luke. And a beautiful finish to the body and it could be all over. I'm not sure if he'll decide to jump up after getting punched with that blazing uppercut, but that body has had enough, and I think that might be his kidney that took the punishment there. Four, five, he is down, and it is all over. The Ukrainian slash Russian could not get it done. And I only say Russian because look at his mouthpiece. I see the Russian colors. And Lucas Dimitri moving forward now with his fifth victory. A beautiful one as well. The body shots. Every time we get in that ring, nobody can handle them. All it takes is two rounds. I think it might have been the third round, actually, that, that one for Lucas Dimitri. Third round in his fifth knockout. Beautiful. That's the way it's done. And just like that, let's see how many goals we completed. Not enough cut damage to inflict that cut, but everything else, we walked away with, what is that, 250 XP? Not bad. I'll take it. And with that being done, let me say this. It's been Frank in the square circle on Fight Night Champs with Lucas Dimitri. If you enjoyed, drop a like down below. Subscribe for more daily uploads. Peace out. Stay safe. And I'll see y'all tomorrow.